Good morning. Shall we begin with the song that is screened? And you can sing along as you see the song as it is displayed on the screen. I'm reading from Genesis chapter 1 and from verses, uh, verse 1 to verse 5. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And there was evening and there was morning, the first day. You know, in a campus like Madras Christian College, if you were to stand in the quadrangle just outside the administrative block, and if you're going to look around and you see the beauty of the organization of nature as we see it, or if you're going to go back home this evening and if you're going to go online, and if you're going to check on any part of your body, from your skin to your retina to the most complex machines in the universe, your heart and your brain, you have to be amazed at the order, the form, and the, almost the symphony that you find in the working of all these different things. How did all this come? All this came from chaos. Because formlessness, the Greek word for that is chaos, and it came from nothing. It, it blows my mind to think that something as complex as the retina of my eye came from nothing, and the form that it takes is nothing. But how did that come? Because God intervened. God intervened into the chaos. God intervened into the formlessness, and he created what we have, this beautiful world around us. Now, how does that play out in our world today? In a world which is ridden with COVID-19, where everything seems to be dark. Now, today, in the beginning, God entered into the primordial world of his own volition. Now that he has created us in his image, he wants us to ask him for his intervention. All right? And when he intervenes, COVID-19, we are going to see a totally different perspective. It's not that covid 19 is going to disappear. It's not that. But we will have a different perspective. You see, the perspective that we have is what we see in the newspapers and in the television news channels. And those are what King Solomon would, would have called life under the sun. But as uh, Billy Graham, the great evangelist, used to say, uh, don't let the headlines frighten you. There is a world, there is a life above the sun. And God, the sovereign God, who created this order, is the God of COVID-19 as well. Now, you may, be, you may be in great sorrow. You may have lost someone to COVID-19 or some similar scourge. Now, 
the God of order is also the God of comfort. And he is able to bring you what the Apostle Paul calls peace that passes all understanding. All right. As we go into these very troubled times, as we go into these very difficult times, when we don't know what the future is going to be like, like uh, Sri Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister, said to the IT sector, probably you will never have a coffee break again when you could huddle around mugs of coffee in the cafeteria. That's probably never going to happen. What is the future going to be like? We don't know. But I can rest, rest assured on this, that I believe in a God who is above all this. And he controls COVID-19 as much as he controlled the chaos uh, that, that was there before the creation of the world. Let us join together and worship this God who is almighty but all loving, who is a God of justice but also a God of grace. Shall we close our eyes in prayer? Father God, we thank you because you are God almighty, because you are God omniscient, because you are God omnipresent, but also that you are sovereign God, and also because you are the God who sent your son to die on the cross for us. We thank you because we have the assurance that you are here, you're with us now, with in all the confusion, in all the darkness, in all the uncertainty that COVID-19 or our personal lives might have engendered, we know that you have the authority we know that you have the power to bring everything to order and to beauty, that you are prepared to give us beauty for ashes because you are a God of beauty. And Lord, we praise you for that. We pray that you would give us hearts which are submissive to permit you to act in our world and in our personal lives so that, so that that order and that beauty may prevail in us till we see the ultimate beauty that is you face to face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.